Hollywood's comedian Kayvon. You've probably seen him on Netflix, The Last Comic Standing, or of course TED Talks. He calls himself the most famous half Persian comedian in the world, and we are lucky enough that he's in Calgary today. Hi, Kayvon. How you doing? I'm doing good. We got seven shows, so there's a lot of chances to come see me. And, so much fun. Uh, well, I'm watching the news earlier. You guys need something to make you laugh. Don't we? And I think that'd be a great spot. Come to it the is, Comedy Cave. It, you're so right. These are pretty depressing times. Oh, yeah. This is your fifth visit to Calgary. Fifth visit. I, I'm becoming Canadian slowly. And, I love that. Well, you know what? I'm from the United States, uh -huh. and Canadians are really progressive. It's such a great transition to come from the U.S., and I hope they'll let me stay here. Don't build a wall. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you gotta can, love the southern Listen, neighbors. we welcome all comers. Anybody wants to come here, right on, and what? you've already uh, shown that uh, you're worthy of being Calgary. I do have a problem with Calgary, though. Why? What? Last time I was here, I'm just driving on the roads, back and forth to the comedy club, and uh -huh. I get home, I had received seven tickets for speeding because every time I cross that road I guess you guys you guys take pictures of people as yes, they're driving. Yes we do. Yes we and do. And I didn't even know that so I got home I had lost money being here. That's how much I love Calgary. I lose money I keep coming I'm sure back. they'll give you a pass no, on yeah. those. You and go to the counter tell a few jokes they'll yeah, give you a pass. The rental car company's like don't worry we <clears> paid it for you and then they paid an administration fee and uh -huh. I'm like that was thousands of dollars to come here. Well it begs an interesting question. Do we have a different sense of humor than Americans? Because you're from Nevada. Right. Raised in Vegas. Right. and half Persian. Well, Calgary is the Reno of Canada. Are, are we Because yeah. really? I came here for a rodeo once, right? The stampede. Yes. Yes. And it, it's the same thing, really. It's yeah. uh, Some of the jokes I always ask when I get in town, do you guys have Costco here? Yes, we or, do. Or, you know, stuff like that, um, because you want to make sure that the joke will translate. It's got to be culturally appropriate, right? Yeah. And that's what's interesting about your brand of humor. So you're American, obviously. You right. couldn't be more boyishly American. Right. But you're also half Middle Eastern, so you're half Persian, Iranian. Family, My dad right? is from in the Middle East and uh -huh. so one thing in LA right now is diversity what's your diversity everyone's grasping for diversity we have uh -huh. a senator Elizabeth Warren who pretends she's Native American just so she can get into things so, right luckily I'm actually half Persian yes and so I just made a joke of it like oh I'm the most famous half Persian comedian it's really just kind of poking fun at that whole thing where everyone has to be diverse because I to think, have some I think being funny should be all it should take right but everybody now is like uh, clamoring for what's your diversity what's your ethnicity what's your that but what's interesting about that is these are really difficult times for people at all ends of these opposite spectrums, right? And people are very divided. Yes. Is there anything you won't joke about when it comes to your culture? I, I tend to get in a lot of trouble because mm -hmm. I'll go down that path and joke about anything. And uh, a lot of people see me and they'll say, oh my gosh, that's a, that's a, a white guy making fun of Persians. Right. Oh my gosh, we got to turn them down. And I've been uh, shut down on Facebook for two weeks. Really? I've been, I've been banned on Instagram. And you're like, I'm one of them. I'm yeah, one of yeah. And that's why I think as a society, we need to stop putting our finger on that trigger finger to yeah. shut everything down, take a step back and laugh about it. And that. laugh about it. You've written a book. I wrote a, I wrote a book called Once You Go Persian. Once You Go Persian. It's really just my origin story. It's just a bunch of funny jokes. It says like, if you wear the Iran flag it might not help you at the border so just turn it and now it's Mexican like it's a, it's really if you want a serious book that is not it yeah but I tend to make fun of just everything in life from books culture to my pants you know well, well right I'll, I'll well, these are the skinny clear. jeans the you know? skinny jeans you can yeah. see everything in you know it's how much true. money I, have. I know how much money you, have. <laughs> you can tell if I have a hernia I got, it's, this it's is. <laughs> true it's true they are very skinny jeans you know um I mentioned you're from Ve you're from the Vegas area born in Nevada right. and your dad still lives in Vegas but you actually actually have an apartment in LA that you will probably not see again this year. I know. I, I just rented it out. There's an Italian guy who's studying in uh, at UCLA. He's like, I want to take your apartment. I go, take it, man. So now I have no reason to go home. No reason to go home because you're on the road telling jokes every single yeah, night. And, and when people call, comedians are on call like a doctor. So last week they said, can you come to Vegas? We want you to do a show. Little did I know Ray Romano was there. Really? Yeah. And so imagine I said, no, it only pays $180. No, thank you. I would have <laughs> lost a great opportunity. So you just say yes all the time. Say yes all the time, mm -hmm. especially to comedy emergencies. Listen, right. Kayvon, I hope uh, the Calgary audiences show you a warm welcome. You're great. And in fact, I'm going to give 20 free tickets away. Anyone who messages Jocelyn's name. What? Really? Yes, just say Miss Laidlaw sent me. You find me on Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, you find me on my You're website. You're so sweet. You're 20 so free sweet. Tickets. 20 free tickets uh, if you want to see Kayvon. He's hilarious, brings a lot of levity to uh, especially our current situation in the world. So his comedy show, hilarious comedy show and book signing at the Comedy Cave tonight through Sunday, right? Tonight through Sunday. You got it. 730. You can also go to his website as well, k vonncomedycom And of course, yeah. he's on all the social media platforms. Thanks, Kayvon. That's right. Now I got to go to Bam. See you guys later. All right. See you later. <laughs> Ian.